Good morning, Neil Metchin Courier. Sorry about the funny angle, it's the best I can do. Monday morning, great weekend, and we loaded on Friday about five o'clock for this delivery that we're just about to do now. Just across the border, so that side, Scotland, this side, England, and our tip is only five miles up the road. So, the quickest of look at what we're loading today, or what we have loaded. Hi there, good morning. 4.30 in the morning. The birds are singing. It's a beautiful morning. We're off to Campbelltown this morning. Campbelltown, fantastic place, but it's such a long way to get there. And it's a long, long way to come back. Four hour drive. So we'll get there around nine and uh, hopefully back towards Glasgow around one in the afternoon. Catch you later. Okay, so we're about an hour 15, an hour and a half into the journey, and that is 6.20, so we stopped for a little bit of coffee. And I don't normally do this. So we've got two and a half hours left of our journey, and we're going to do this next part without stopping. And uh, that will get us there at nine o'clock, and we left half an hour early, so we weren't rushing and chasing our tail. So we've got some time in the bag. So... Let's get our way down to Campbelltown and get this big, heavy electrical drummer cable off the van. Well, it all feels more like a tourist day today. We did our tip fine this morning. Everything's grand. And we're done for the day. My back's actually hurting a wee bit. So we're going to sack off the rest of the day. But we did start at half past four. So finishing at half past two is kind of all right. But we're at the Crinan Canal and they're just opening the gates to let a boat through. I'm going to have a wee look at that. Or you can't see this, they've got this little cool control panel here and it tells you the height of the water in the locks. Okay, and now the boats are going up. The guy has opened the sluice gates. You can see over there on the ladder, the water level's coming up. Anyway, enough of that messing around with boats. It was a quiet week really, but an okay week. Not great money because I took Wednesday off on my back. I probably shouldn't have worked Thursday, but I had a commitment that I wanted to stand by, so we've done that. And we also got a little cheeky job on Thursday morning, which was great. So now, Friday we took off again from my back. That's the trouble being self-employed. You hurt yourself, you know, everyone says, look after yourself, an apple a day keeps the doctor away and these things. So we do need to be careful. Anyway, it's all done. We are booked up for Monday, which is great. I hope you're doing well. And if anyone has any comments about the recent CX Teg event, I've heard there's maybe going to be some factoring and there's going to be some changes to how the control drivers who are doing things that they maybe shouldn't be doing or some, is it cons consolidates, syndicates and try and hopefully stream that down and put the apps back to a higher quality service. Now, I know an awful lot of people say, oh, it's just for backloads, it's just for backloads. Yep, that was maybe true at one point, but it isn't. I know plenty of guys that use it to generate their whole income. Agree or disagree is absolutely irrelevant. That's what these guys do. And they deserve to be paid appropriately for the job. And not every job is a backload. You know, a lot of companies only get drivers off of the CX and HX and the other apps, other apps are available. So they only get their drivers from there and they sell to their customers direct load, perfect service, blah, blah, blah. So there are, is a bit of duplicity in calling it a backload site because a lot of businesses use it for their primary source of drivers. Anyway, that's enough for this week. Hopefully we get a good run at it next week. And I'll see you then. All the best.